some more spring cleaning this week. So hopefully you're motivated and we can get it done together. Hey guys, welcome to Jamie's journey. I'm so glad you're here. Thank you for spending part of your day, your week, hanging out with me. Um, we have a lot work to be getting into, L more spring cleaning. I'm sharing a really great cleaning hack with you. I'll be telling you about our trip to the Masters last week. And here I'm scrubbing some tennis shoes that had gotten dirty from the Masters. So I will be sharing all of that, but um, yeah, the the soil, the dirt in Georgia is different, more clay-like than it is here in the Midwest. So I had that red like dirt clay all over my shoes. We did a lot of walking on the day that we were at the Masters, 12 hours straight of walking. So I was using the pink stuff to uh, scrub these shoes. And then I have a bag that I can put my shoes in. It's kind of like a delicates bag for the washer. Um, you could put your delicates in it, but it's a shoe bag. And I'm going to put my shoes in there and wash it on a delicate cycle. But the pink stuff did a pretty amazing job at getting grass stains and all of that dirt and clay off of the shoes before I put it in the washer. So I was scrubbing something in the garage the other day and I had some microfiber cloths that had some pretty caked on dirt with it. Most of the time, my microfiber cloths come pretty clean when I, I just wash them. Here, I'll explain what I'm doing now and then I'll go back and say how I do it more on a weekly basis. Here I was just soaking them in some borax. I did not measure it out, borax and OxyClean in some hot water. And I was just going to let it soak all day and then I was going to wash it like normal. So I don't do this very often. This is how I deep clean my microfiber cloths. I try to do it maybe every couple of months or so. Um, sometimes I'll even add some powdered Tide to the borax and the OxyClean and I just let it soak all day long or even overnight and then I'll wash like normal. But on a weekly basis, what I do is I combine all of my microfiber cloths, usually in an old bucket or here in this laundry sink, and then I let them collect all week long, and then I wash them like normal, um, not super hot water. I think I do um, like medium temperature water, and I just wash it with laundry sanitizer. I do the Lysol laundry sanitizer and normal detergent, and that gets them clean for the most part unless I'm doing something that's greasy or really, really dirty.
so we're chugging along on the spring cleaning series and now we're moving on to the girls bedrooms and I will admit to you guys I think I'm kind of taking the lazy way out with their bedrooms but honestly their bedrooms don't get that dirty um I mean the girls sometimes I mean Avery will play with her Barbies in her room but other than that her room is a place that she sleeps in so I don't think I'm doing as much deep cleaning in their bedrooms that I would typically do in other rooms um in the house and I'm also a little tired so tired from the trip T it was a wonderful trip but a little tired from the trip and you know doing spring cleaning every single week is a lot so I should probably be taking a little bit slower but I'm kind of taking the least lazy way out when it comes to spring cleaning their bedrooms so I'm just kind of doing the basics here I was running um, their bedding on the sanitize and allergen cycle so I don't do that very often at all it's almost like a two-hour cycle so I was doing that um, and yeah I'm gonna share a really easy way that you can clean your window trackings. I've showed a different couple or a couple different methods already in my other spring cleaning videos, but I wanted to give you guys another option, another way you can clean your window trackings and just something a little bit different. So, you know, you can try different methods and depending on what works best for you, you have options. So I will talk more about our trip later on in the video just because there's going to be more I'm talking about cleaning here later on in the video. It's pretty self-explanatory. The girls were out of the house for the entire day. So normally I would do all of the cleaning and then the carpet cleaning last, but with the girls out of the house all day, I just needed a cap. We were also going to be gone in the evening, so I wanted to capitalize on everyone being out of the house. Had to laugh because I think I've told you guys we there's a house being built right next to us. The houses in our neighborhood are pretty close to each other on the sides, but then there's bigger backyards. In our old house, the houses were farther apart on the sides, like we had more side yards, but then the houses were right on top of each other in the backyard, and I'm totally okay with having someone right next to me, right next to my driveway. I mean, the house next to us, you'll probably see here um, on day two when I'm cleaning the window tracking, you'll see how close the house is, but then we got to our backyard and I feel like we're not in a neighborhood. So um, right now we have a house being built. I think I saw the people when I was cleaning actually touring the house and I was kind of like looking out the window like, ooh, are these gonna be our new neighbors?
so after I'm done vacuuming, I'm going to clean the carpets. And what I do instead of putting the solution in the carpet cleaner, I use a garden sprayer. And this allows it to, so I mix up the water and the carpet cleaning soap solution, mix that in the garden sprayer, put it on the carpet, let it sit for a few minutes. It gives it time for the soap, the detergent to really work on the carpet, sit on the carpet for a few minutes, help break up some of the stains first. And it also, makes it so you're not getting as much soap, as much water and moisture into the carpet and the padding because if you don't get all of that soap and detergent out when you're done, it can attract more dirt and it's just better not to get your carpet and padding so saturated with water. So I think this method works for a variety of reasons. So when I'm done cleaning the carpets, I'm going to clean out my fridge and restock since I can't really finish anything out in finish cleaning in their rooms since the carpets have to dry. I had noticed earlier that the fridge was a mess and I never cleaned it out with my big spring cleaning when I did it in the kitchen just because the kitchen spring cleaning was so much that I didn't have time for the fridge. So I've been putting it off so now it's time to do that. I would have preferred to do everything first and then the carpets um, in the girls' rooms, but the kids were out of the house all day long, so it just made sense to utilize the time, clean the carpets, let it dry so it would be dry when they got home. Not to mention, Avery had a softball game this evening, so it just gave us some more time so the carpets could clean. So not in the order that I would prefer to do it, but sometimes you gotta kinda work with your life. And when I finish their bedrooms the next day, that's when you're gonna see that amazing window tracking cleaning hack. And while I'm restocking, I'm also going to share my Thrive Market haul, which I got some new stuff this time, so I'm excited to share that with you, and I'm also excited to try myself. I do want to say right out front, Thrive Market saves me money every single time. They have guaranteed savings. If you have a yearly membership, and at the end of the year, if you don't save as much as you spend on the membership, they will credit you the difference, so there's nothing to lose. And two of the items I got, the Poppy Soda, which you'll see, and Z-Bars for my kids, were both cheap cheaper at Thrive Market than at my local grocery store. Thrive is also running a friends and family sale now through April 24th, making it a great time to give it a try. Thrive Market is an online membership-based grocery store with guaranteed savings on every order. For me, Thrive Market is that place where I can feel good about shopping there and stocking our pantry full of the things that I can get from there. It just makes me feel like I'm feeding my kids good quality foods. Well, everything's 
soaking in the fridge. I'll share my latest Thrive Market haul. This drink I've been seeing everywhere. Everyone is raving about Poppy. My last Thrive Market order, got some Poppy and I really, really liked it. So this strawberry lemon was my favorite almost every single day. And there's just something in the afternoon when you're kind of like in a slump, you want to eat, but you're not hungry at all. And you just want something with flavor and bubbles. And this has been my go-to. I got some date syrup. Essentially, I just wanted something a little bit different than honey. We've been using honey a lot for sweetening, for sweeteners, um, just to like sweeten smoothies. Um, I added into my energy bites. It's just a great natural sweetener. And I've heard a lot about dates and how great those can be for a natural sweetener. So I figured let's switch it up. Peanut butter in the Strawberry fruit spread, those are basics that we always get at Thrive Market. And then I got this Rouse, I think that's how you say it, this Italian wedding soup with meatballs. And I thought maybe this would be a good lunch for me one day. So I'm gonna give that a try. Some sandwich bags, I've gotten these before I really like them. Some grain-free taco shells. Um, I always get the taco seasoning from there, and this is pretty much the main taco seasoning we use if we have it on hand, um, and these were, came highly recommended. They have reviews, there's people who can leave comments based on all of their products that are on their website, and this came highly recommended on their website, so I'm like, let's give it a try. Um, and then some ranch with avocado oil. This I've never tried these before, but this, another review got. I like reading the reviews on Thrive Market's website, so if you're not sure what to get, go check out their best sellers, go check out the reviews, and this came highly recommended, so I was like, all right, let's go for it. And then the Catalina Crunch, the fruity cereal. I could not find this in any other store, but at Thrive Market and the girls. This is their favorite Catalina Crunch. It's essentially like Fruit Loops, um, and they like it, and it has, 11 grams of protein, nine grams of fiber, and zero grams of sugar. Emery, especially, she loves these. She tells me every single time when I get them. These are my favorite mom. And then these were kind of new as when I got these magnesium chews. I take magnesium every single night, um, but I take it in like a capsule form, but I thought these looked really good. Some organic cheddar bunnies. We have some softball games coming up. It, usually they're in the evening, so I'll pack the twins something, so. I got those, um, same thing with these. We love these cheese balls, these are so good. They're the Pipcorn snacks and these are individual bags. So again, good healthy snacks that I can feel good about my kids eating and munching on during two softball games. So usually on Sundays we have two softball games so I just pack a ton of snacks for the twins to keep them entertained. And I just feel a little bit better about giving them these type of snacks to munch on all day instead of going to the concession stands and getting a bunch of junk. So got those organic applesauce pouches. Believe it was the same thing. They came highly recommended so it's like let's give it a try. So I was going to give this a try with some oat milk. And then this is our favorite milk to use for smoothies. I put this in there, it's flax milk, vanilla, and it has some added protein in there, eight grams of plant protein, allergen friendly, 200 milligrams of omega-3. There will be a link in the description if you wanna give Thrive Market a try. And if you use that link, you can get 30% off your first order and a free gift worth up to $60. In addition to my 30% off discount, Thrive is also running a friends and family sale right now through April 24th, so it's a great time to sign up. With Thrive Market, you can filter the catalog of products by diet and lifestyle, product types, and your favorite brands. Whether you're gluten-free, vegan, keto, you can shop over 90 plus diets and values if you're trying to add in more protein like we've been doing for the past couple of months. Thrive Market makes it easy to filter by values so I can personally filter foods high in protein since that's something I'm focusing on now. As a Thrive Market member, you'll save on every single order of the highest quality organic and sustainable products. And if you find a lower price somewhere else, they will match it. You can already see the kids are already getting into the snacks. As soon as I had them laid out, I knew that they were gonna be digging in. Um, but there's two membership options. There's a month to month, which is $12 a month, or you can do the annual membership, which comes to $5 a month. It's billed at $59.95. We have the annual membership and you will make back your annual $60 membership back in savings. And if you don't, Thrive Market will credit you the difference. Orders over $49 ship free and it's so 
super, super, super crazy fast. Like I submit my order and I get it within like two days. It's as simple as that. You don't have to tip and there's no additional fees. And don't forget, if you're on the fence, you're thinking about trying, Thrive is running that friends and family sale through April 24th, making it a great time to give it a try to sign up. And that is in addition to the 30% off your first order and a free gift worth up to $60 if you click the link in my description. So again, only when you go to thrivemarket.com slash Jamie's Journey do you get 30% off your first order and a free gift worth up to $60 and that sale is running through April 24th. All right, let's, so let's talk our trip to the Masters. So if you guys didn't know, my husband won tickets in a lottery. They do a lottery every year. Um, he won tickets, four tickets to the Masters practice round on Monday. So we got to see Tiger Woods practice. And from my understanding, with the practice rounds, you don't really know who you're going to see you are not guaranteed to see anyone. You don't know who's going to be practicing on that Monday. There's Monday, I think is a practice, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday are all practice days. There's also a par three um, contest in there. So you're not really sure who you're going to see. So we show up at Mon Monday morning, 6.30 in the morning, waited in line to get in, and Tiger Woods was the first golfer to tee off and you guys I mean I don't have to say anything I mean if you want to see any golfer like Tiger Woods is probably going to be your number one of your number ones but it's Mike's favorite golfer so um we were pretty excited we got some really really cool pictures and I we stayed until they closed the course at 6 30 p.m so for 12 hours we walked the entire course over and over and over it was probably the most exhausting day ever because we didn't even sit down um i sat down i think twice on the grass during one of the holes maybe for five minutes each so maybe 10 minutes at most in over 12 hours of walking did not sit down at all um, you can't have your phones you can take a camera so i brought my camera that i used to shoot my youtube videos um can't have phones so it was a, an exhausting day but i told mike one of the coolest things I've ever been a part of, hands down, um, coolest experiences ever, other than the birth of my children and my wedding, the coolest experience I've ever been a part of.
Okay, so I'll talk more about the masters and the trip, um, but I want to explain this cleaning hack. So I've shown this before on my channel, but it has been years. So another way to clean window tracking, I've shown you a variety of ways. Um, the Bissell Steam Shot hand steamer is one of my favorite ways, but here's another easy way, and this is great especially if your window trackings are like caked, if they have caked on like almost muddy dirt and debris in there, this works like a charm for those times. So what you do, is you just sprinkle some baking soda in the window tracking and then you pour white distilled vinegar on the baking soda and it bubbles up, gets into all of the cracks and crevices of the window tracking. And then the key here is you need a wet, you need a wet dry vacuum. So I, Mike has one, he's always had one for the garage. So it's also a great um, vacuum to have for outside. So this particular one, it can be great because it can suck up liquids. It can suck up just, it could be like a normal vacuum. So we use it in our cars. Mike uses it in the garage. But if you have any liquid that you need to clean up, this can also suck all of that up, which is kind of nice. I just think it's one of those, it's kind of nice to have for those random, random cleanups. So what I did, again, I poured some baking soda, then white distilled vinegar, let it bubble up, and then I used an old toothbrush to really kind of scrub and loosen up that dirt and the debris, and then you just suck it all up. Like, it's so, so easy. So I did end up doing it when I was after this. I did go to the twins room and did it, but I'm like, you guys don't need to see me do it again. It's a very tedious job. Um, and I thought it would get too repetitive and boring for you guys, but this is just another method you can use. The, you know, the downfall is not everyone has a wet dry vacuum, but again, I think it's something that it's a, it's a cleaning tool, the wet dry vacuum is, that you can use in a lot of different other areas in your home. And so that's one of the reasons why it's helpful. Um, but I also love my steam shot hand steamer to clean the window trackings, but hopefully, you know, my goal is I don't want to just always show you one way to clean something because maybe you don't like that way. Maybe you have a surface in your, like a specific area or room in your home where the method that I use doesn't work for you. So I always try, really try to find different methods on how to clean various areas in your home. So here I just had noticed that the um, light switch needed to be wiped down, so I was doing that. I thought about cleaning the walls, but I'm like, the walls really weren't even that messy. And to be honest with you guys, I was being kind of lazy <laughs> this day. Um, so wasn't going to clean the walls at all, just kind of doing the basics. <laughs>
Okay, so yeah, going back to the Masters, honestly, I told Mike, you know, I'm not a golfer. I actually want to learn, and, you know, I think once maybe, like, Avery's old enough to stay at home with the twins, you know, for an afternoon or a morning when Mike and I can go, that's when I would like to learn, but right now it's not something I'm looking to fit into my life. Um, I'm pretty competitive. I like being athletic and any sort of sport, so I'm interested in it. It's Mike's number one hobby, but, you know, I'm not a golfer. I don't watch golf. Um, and, but I was not bored at all for 12 hours of just watching golf, not having a phone, having nothing. Um, it was just honestly, I, and I think why it was so cool is like, if like, even if you don't like golf, I don't know, growing up, I came from a very like sports loving family. I remember going over to my grandparents' house, you know, the masters sometimes is on during Easter. And I remember just like, the Masters is just always on TV and you can hear that voice of the commentators, that like golf commentator voice, that soft voice. You can hear the birds chirping. You see the beautiful course. The course lives up to everything. I mean, things that people say about Augusta National, it's everything that people say. And the workers were so incredibly nice. The food was out of this world. Um, like even like there was a peach, um, ice cream sandwich it was like cookies with peach ice cream and I don't even care for peach ice cream but it was amazing there was a chicken sandwich that was really good um, a lot of people the pimento cheese sandwich is like the, the the favorite like the classic sandwich of the masters I don't like mayonnaise so I tried it but I did not like it I know so bad but they had a classic chicken sandwich that was so good I love that um, but it was just definitely in the top three days of my entire life. It was amazing. Addison and Emery's first picture together. If you guys don't know, I we went through IVF in vitro fertilization to get pregnant with them, and that picture they took before the transfer. So one of them is Addison, one of them is Emery. It's their first picture together. I think it's so cute. Okay, um, but going back off talking about the masters, what is crazy, you guys? So you know, I've been talking about these patches on my face. I've been having allergic dermatitis. My doctor's trying to figure it out. Um, I actually have a doctor's appointment scheduled for next week because um, the spots have been getting worse. But what's interesting is I go to Georgia and I was told the pollen is crazy here. The pollen levels are crazy. I get down there, you guys, everything went away. Everything, all the spots in my face, my neck, so right now I am putting on like a, a prescription topical cream that's like a, I don't know if it's a steroid cream, but it, it helps. It makes my spots look less bad, I guess. And when I was in Georgia, I didn't have to use it at all and they completely, completely went away. So it's obviously something here in Northwest Ohio, something in my house, something is bothering me. We know I have an allergic reaction to dust mites. That's all that came up on this long panel. I mean, they tested me for like so many things and it was just dust mites. So I thought it was interesting that it all went away when I was in Georgia, which means it's definitely something very close to me. So I'm going to take that. Um, and not to mention like I've, I've had worse. 
I've had spots pop up and they're even worse than before. So I have a doctor's appointment scheduled for next week. So I will keep you updated on what she says. Um, I know some of you guys have been giving me suggestions, but I do want to throw out that I have, um, I take a nasal spray daily. I take, um, like a, like a Claritin every day. I do a saline neti pot rinse every day. And I'm trying to think of what else. Oh, someone did mention something about uh, look up a histamine intolerance. So that is something that I looked into and I'm going to take that to my doctor. So thank you for whoever su suggested that. I was looking at the foods. I don't eat a lot of the foods that call cause a high histamine response, but it's something that I'm still, you know, let's, let's look at this. Let's dig deep. So doctor's appointment next week, but um, we'll see what she says. I just realized I didn't ask how you guys were doing. How are you doing? I hope you're having, I hope you had a good weekend. I hope your upcoming week isn't too overwhelming. I hope it's an easy week for you, but I hope you're doing okay. And I also don't think I said thank you for being here. I don't remember if I did, but if I didn't, thank you for being here again. Maybe that's the first time I'm seeing this. I think when I started the video, I was like, I have so much I need to talk about that I don't think I asked how you guys were doing and thanked you for being here. I'm just afraid of being alone Well, I don't care Cause right now I feel the love That we said we would burn Oh, I know that you feel it too beautiful evening here. I don't know what the temperature is right now. It's probably in the low 60s, but it got up, it might have gotten up to 70 today. So summer is coming. I cannot wait. We just got the girls to bed. Um, we did a family cleanup after dinner. And what I'm going to do now is I want to vacuum and mop. Um, I haven't done that this week and we desperately need to do some mopping. I notice the floors get pretty dirty when the kids are running in and out from outside. So I'm trying to get better about physically mopping. I just wanted my Norwal um, a couple times a week and then I usually mop a couple times a week, but I'm trying to physically do it a little bit more. So I'm gonna force myself to do that right now. Um, kind of make it cozy, um, light a candle and just kind of wind down.
good week, bad week, high point, low point to the week. So um, I think in last week's video I had said we have a lot of family surgeries coming up, um, one being a very close family member, and then my mom will be having back surgery um, in two weeks. So just both very serious surgeries. Um, honestly, the family member that I didn't mention who they are. Um, they had surgery actually this week, so that's kind of the good week. That was a v incredibly serious surgery, and everything went well. So we're one surgery down, and um, that was also part of why I didn't move a lot of the furniture, because Mike wasn't able to he wasn't around, so he wasn't able to move the furniture for me when I was cleaning in the girls' bedrooms. Um, so I just cleaned the carpet around the furniture. I was like, it's not a big deal. Um, but the this one family member's surgery went well, um, as good as can be expected. So it's just all, we all, you know, we feel good about that. It just one surgery down and everything um, with results and everything they were looking at um, went well. So that is by far the, the best good week ever. And then the bad week is that um, this week, upcoming weekend, is um, a close family, very close family member who has passed away. It's their birthday. And um, if any of you guys have lost an incredibly important close family member to you, um, you know, it's always hard on the day of their death and then their birthdays. But the birthday is really tough because it's like, you know, this should be a day of celebration. It should be another year of, you know, growing older and more memories that we made in the past year and when their birthday comes up it's like you want to celebrate them and keep their memory alive but it's also a reminder of they are not here and life has moved on life has gone on um and they're not here anymore so it's just been you know a tough week because of that so i would say that is my bad week um but we are trying our best to think about them and celebrate them as best as we can, but it's just tough and I know a lot of you guys understand. And don't forget Thrive Market is running that friends and family sale right now through April 24th and you can use the link in my description or go to thrivemarket.com slash Jamie's Journey to get 30% off your first order plus a free gift worth up to $60 and let me know what you try and what you love. A quiet, clean home. This laundry just needs to be put away. Mike folded that on his lunch break today. I'll get to that. Um, or we'll get to that tomorrow. But oh, I cannot wait. One of my favorite things to do when the weather starts getting nice is to have the windows open. We didn't have the windows open a ton last year because we didn't have grass. Like, I think we didn't get grass until like mid-July. And by that point, we had our air conditioning on. But... Um, it's still dusty and dirty around here, but we have grass now, so we'll be able to open our windows more. But one of my favorite things to do when the weather gets nice at night is open the windows, um, especially with the pond that we have in the back. Um, we don't own the pond. It's just a retention pond behind our property, actually surrounding the pond. So it's not our pond, um, but there's obviously a lot of wildlife. You can hear the frogs, you can hear the bugs and it's kind of soothing and relaxing in summertime or when it gets just warmer late spring early summer you can open the windows hear the sounds of the nighttime and just kind of clean vacuum and mop and i don't know something i'm looking forward to and that should be here in the next couple weeks which i can't believe and i am excited i'm sure a lot of you guys who live in the midwest 
uh, the Northeast or in these, you know, cold weather climates, you know what I mean. We are so, so ready. This is the point, point of the year. We're just like, we're right there. We can taste it. We get tastes of the warm weather periodically. So I can't wait. Um, but that's what I was just thinking because it's a little bit warm today. Not enough where I can open the windows, but it, but it kind of got me excited for that. So anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and close up the video here. Thank you for being here with me. Thanks for sticking around and hanging with me until the very end. <sighs> you guys are amazing. You guys are awesome. Like truly, truly, truly so awesome. You guys are awesome. So thank you so much. And uh, I still have more spring cleaning. I know we're almost to May, we're getting there, but I have a couple more rooms I wanna tackle and then we have the garage. I promise that is coming. I have the garage coming. We're just trying to get everything that we need slowly but surely, but I will be doing the garage and outside. <laughs> we gotta do the patio, um, bring all that furniture out from last year, front porch. So there's still a lot of spring cleaning, probably early summer spring cleaning. So early summer cleaning deep cleaning so a lot more that is here coming your way so get ready we have a lot more we're going to do so anyways bye <laughs>